Assalamu alaikum, I'm Nadia Budhab and I have designed some Egyptian banknotes. Yes, it is that very long awaited video that I show you my Egyptian banknotes. I have some news though. I didn't quite finish them. I know, I know. It's been a very long time, but it is a hard thing and I am very indecisive as it is. If you've seen my previous video where I showed you my reaction to the new banknote, I did eventually get my hands on the brand new Egyptian Polymer banknote. Look, and this has replaced this. So it is a pretty monumental time to be around talking about Egyptian banknotes when we have a very vastly different change in them. <laughs> Have the Egyptian tem. See, I'm getting confused. Even the viewfinder, they look the same. So here we have the Egyptian ten pound new polymer note and the current old English polymer ten pound note. They are very similar, and they are designed by the same people. But I don't know why they are so similar. <laughs> I'd also like to note how empty the windows are on the Egyptian ten pound. The one good thing about this was that it has a very standout color. This, however, the old one, didn't really have a standout colour. Is it purple? Is it green? I like both of them, but there's no one prominent colour. The same company that designed this, designed this. It's a British company. Um, sure, that's great, but as a British company, they have designed a lot of other banknotes that don't look the same. I don't know the reason. I just think, despite all the Arabic and the elements of Egypt, could have looked a lot more unique. So this may be the moment you've been waiting for to see my full set, not just two notes, of Egyptian banknotes. Ta-da! This obviously is the Latin side, the Arabic side. Like I mentioned very quietly, they're not finished. That's because it's a big job, but I'm happy that I've created a full set with a little extra 500 pounds, I mean, the way the economy is going could be useful. They're also not quite the right size. I may have printed them a little, little too small, but it is Asha Green. Asha Green Deluxe. Might not be as finished as I ideally wanted, but they are finished in ticking all the boxes that I wanted. I wanted a modern looking brand, brand new banknote that looks nothing like any other banknote. It was clear in colour scheme that was unified in its designs but very uniquely different between each banknote. And that was accessible, hence why I put little dots here. Here we have an example of my banknote. It clearly has the numeric number here. And this is where I would ideally put the transparent window, like so. My beautiful cutout, but obviously I don't have a fully fledged um, printing house. You clearly can see where it comes from. Very iconic uh, windows. These colors stand out a lot more than these. Something to do, I guess. I need to focus on my saturation. So there we have it. Those are my Egyptian banknotes. Let me know what you think of the design. I did want to add a little bit more, which I eventually will do if I ever finish them. Um, but let me know what you think compared to the very um, sterling design we currently have. 